Hello and welcome back to our video tutorial series for Kingdom Hearts 1. In this video, we cover both fights against Parasite Cage and Monstro. If you're only looking for help with the second fight, we've placed a link in the video description you can use to jump ahead. Before we get started, I recommend having arrow magic assigned to your shortcuts list, and equipping the Three Wishes keychain for increased attack power and better deflection. The only damage points on Parasite Cage are its front side and its head. During the first fight, its only attacks are a single tentacle swing and a swing with both tentacles. If you have the guard ability equipped, you can use it to gain tech points on the single swings and avoid damage. You can also guard against the double swings, though no tech points are awarded. If you don't have the guard ability yet, use dodge roll to back away from its attacks, then roll back in to land some hits. Deal damage with complete combos between its tentacle swings. The Parasite Cage often staggers from combo finishers, allowing you to get an extra combo in. If you have the MP to spare, you can spam fire or cast other magic to lower its HP a bit. Riku also aids in this fight and will heal your party members periodically. If the ledge leading to Chamber 4 is getting in the way of your camera, move to either side of the room. The Parasite Cage should eventually turn to target you, allowing you to view where Sora is more easily. The second fight that occurs in the stomach is much longer and more difficult. Parts of the floor are acidic and will drain your HP over time if you step on them. I prefer not to use the platforms scattered around the walls, and instead try to keep Parasite Cage facing directly toward the walkway at ground level, as it gives you the most room to dodge attacks and prepare for what's coming next. Cast Arrow Magic to help mitigate damage, and if you have the MP to spare, try to keep your Arrow Magic up for the duration of the fight. The single and double tentacle swings are still common attacks that you'll need to parry with guard or avoid with dodge roll, but it now has two new attacks. When it plants its tentacles and swings its entire body toward you, use guard or dodge roll away to avoid making contact. Continue to attack between its tentacle swings and body charges and try striking its head as much as possible. I found it easier to reach with an aerial combo by pressing the attack button from the ground instead of jumping first. On occasion, striking the head will stun the parasite cage and leave its core open to damage. You can typically land two full combos on the core before it recovers. When you've depleted its first HP bar, it'll start sucking up acid through its tentacles and spew it at you. If you've been fighting on the ground level, you should be able to easily run or dodge roll to its side or back to avoid the acid spray. If you're hit by this attack, it will deplete your HP over time, so be ready to cure or throw a potion. As long as you keep your health up and watch for what its next attack will be, you're sure to send the Parasite Cage packing. And that's the end of this tutorial! If you have any advice or tips of your own, share them with us in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. And as always, you can find the best online walkthrough and guides to the Kingdom Hearts series at khguides.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.